we live here, uh, me and my family. Now the philosophy is to live in nature. The bees live up there together with us. We have uh, small cats running around everywhere, animals in the forest here, and of course the cannabis growing everywhere. So it's kind of a fun place. And uh, I'm gonna take you through a little tour to show you around uh, exactly what we do where so that you can have this good overview of the whole place. So we grow here a lot of different things, um, carrots, uh, all kinds of salads, rucola here, uh, tomatoes, some chamomile, different herbs for the teas, more tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, garlic, uh, melons, oh my god, more onions over there. So this is strawberries, the reason we put it under the net is because we want to protect ourselves from the birds. You know, uh, we want to eat the strawberries, so does the birds. So we put this around to make sure that we eat the strawberries and not the birds. Sometimes we give to the birds, don't worry. But mainly we give it to the kids, they're also small birds, you know. So what we're doing here, we're collecting rainwater and then uh, putting into the drums over there. Uh, we're gonna cover it with some wood. So next time you come, it's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, right now it's a little bit, yeah, a little bit raw, yeah? <laughs> uh, this is our genetic bank for a special variety of uh, different cannabis. What we focus on here is growing, uh, uh, growing a wild uh, in nature in a perfect environment where we have the river next to the bed. Um, the reason we do that is because these seeds we have here are all collected from mountains in different regions in the world. So we want to create an environment that's kind of very similar to where they came from. And here you have like 50 different varieties uh, of special cannabis we found up in the mountains that only contain CBD. You see, in, in the nature, it's not THC that's the dominant uh, cannabinoid. While collecting hundreds of hundreds of varieties, we found out that CBD is actually the, the dominant one and THC is the less dominant one, even though I know in books they say different things. But this is facts because we collect seeds from all the way, all the world, you know, different places. And, and we see that at least 60% of the plants contain much more CBD than THC. This is our small gym bank. I mean, we have different gym banks all over the world. This is the gym bank where I focus on the high CBD content without THC. Um, so it's kind of the place I spend most of my time experimenting with plants and trying to create new varieties that can uh, help humans in a, in a better way. Yeah, and these patches here we prepare for uh, experiments where we take and clone the plants and put them out here. Um, yeah, all these patches are for cannabis just. So this is our cannabis field, you can say, or, you know, the genetic bank of cannabis. <laughs> Come, I'll show you more. So this is the river through the property and cross the river we go into the bushes where there's a lot of shade so we spend a lot of time in the summer here where we uh, we have a little workspace some uh, tents where my mom chooses to sleep in she doesn't want to sleep in the house she sleeps in the tent and then uh, we are a little bit uh, rebuilding a lot of things here so the future studio you're gonna see is gonna be right over there uh, next month it's gonna be like a glass house where we're gonna sit and you know talk about different things it's gonna be very nice and across the river is where we have also a little studio. This is uh, where we're making something for the chickens. Uh, they're gonna run around. This is my office here. I spend a lot of time here because, you know, sometimes there's too much noise up with the house. So I sit here and uh, do my, uh, my thing. We do a lot of things, you know, I spend here some time and uh, sometimes with the whole team we are here to have uh, creative thoughts. It's a good space, uh, I think everybody should have a space like this in the forest where you can just sit and 
have no other noise than and the birds and, and the, the river and just focus on what's important in life you know um, this is my favorite spot actually here we grow uh, wild salvia <laughs> actually we don't it's the forest and uh, this is our like the future activity room where Jonathan he's gonna do a lot of things with this wall so we can um, walk up and down with kids and like, practice uh, um, climbing you know because we have to go to the mountains and collect seeds so this is where the kids are gonna exercise and so are we I hope Jonathan you're gonna do a good job you know <laughs> I'll try <it. laughs>